This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points, Get Free Gift Cards, Games, and much more. Try free apps, get rewards. Go to your iOS or Android browsers and type http colon forward slash forward slash f-e-a-t-u dot r-e forward slash v-g-o. Use the app, start reaping the rewards. VideoGamersOasis.com Play Subscribe Go back to the hotel. <clears throat> ah, here he is. Hey, Ben, how's it going? Alice, it's great to see you. So, did, uh, did you take care of everything you needed to? Yeah, I spoke with Mr. Yamamoto. Also, Mr. Shinobi's been murdered. Yeah, Alice told me about it. She did? I read it in the paper this morning when I got to the airport. You can read Japanese? Didn't I tell you? I studied Japanese in high school. Anyways, Simon was filling me in on what had been up, what we up to, and when he mentioned that you spoke to Mr. Shomi yesterday, I brought up the story. Well, this sure is handy. Now I can actually understand what the headlines are saying instead of just guessing by the pictures. <clears throat> There's something else I read, which I thought you ought to know about. Ben, it seems that there have been a series of unexplained deaths in a nearby village. Unexplained deaths? Did the paper mention the name of the village? Yes, it's called Asuka, and it's only about half an hour away from here. Do you think we should check it out? Maybe, I mean, mean maybe I, I already have to, a lot to deal with here in Osaka. Tell you what. I'll stay here and research what I can to see if I can come up with any new leads and then you and Alice are going to head out to Osaka see if it's worth further investigation. That sounds good to me. Let's go. What? What? R right now? Are you busy with something? No, but I thought maybe you wanted to rest before heading out into the field. I'm fine. The more time we waste, the less we can find out. Let's go. Alright, after you. <coughs> She's got a lot of energy, that's good. Go get her, champ. Oh, shut up. We've arrived at the temple. Wow, this is a pretty impressive looking place. The architecture really is beautiful. I wonder, since this is a rural village, if anyone speaks English. Probably not, but if you need me, more, me to translate for you, I'll, I'll be more than happy to do it. Sounds good. I, I'll just let you do the talking. You can tell me what you said later. There's a teenager here. There's a lion. Large stone lion guards the gate of the suka. It looks as though it's about to press some kind of sinister button. A somewhat scruffy young man sits dejectedly, dejectedly at the steps of the gate. He doesn't look very happy. Let's talk to him. You don't speak Japanese, and you don't you don't think it would be productive for Alice to just to make small talk. Alice, could you do the honors, please? Sure, no problem. Excuse me, young man. Yeah, what what do you want? Tell me, what can you tell me about the village? It's cursed, if you ask me. Nothing good ever happened here since I can remember. What do you mean? I mean, we never seem to have enough food. There's hardly any jobs, and now we've had a string of unexplained deaths. That sounds like a curse to me. Tell me about yourself. What's your name? Noburu. 
But what's yours? I was just trying to be friendly, that's all. Yeah, well, I'm not in the, much of a mood to be friendly right now. <clears throat> what's wrong? What's the matter? No offense, lady, but why should I tell my problems to some white lady and her goofy boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend. We, we just work together. Yeah, whatever. Come on. It, it, it sometimes helps if you talk about your problems. What are you, psychiatrist? No, actually, my field is parapsychology. What the hell is that? It's a study of unconventional capabilities of the brain, like extrasensory perceptions, psychic abilities, and that sort of thing. <coughs> so, you're one of those wackos. I beg your pardon? Look, if, you're satis if it satisfies your curiosity, my dad died recently, okay? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not the first death we've had, either. Things are getting pretty bad around here. Boom. Mysterious deaths. Tell me about these deaths. Lately, someone just drops dead for no reason. They can be perfectly fine one day, and then next, boom, they're dead. But that's just not the half of it. They don't want to stay in their graves. They don't want to stay in their graves? Did I stutter? Yes, they came back, come back out of the graves and wander off, cursed to roam the land as undead. It's already happened to my dad. We buried him yesterday, and this morning we found his body next to his grave. My mother called a priest to come later today and purify the body, but I'll bet you anything it won't work. What makes you so sure? Other people have tried it already, but they never stay in their graves. Just look at the cemetery. The graves have got fresh dirt from where the undead crawl out. Look, if it's all the same to you, I really don't want to talk about it this right anymore. It's hard enough to lose your dad and thought of him coming back as a zombie doesn't help cheer me up any. Of course, I'm sorry. What's the purification? What exactly does the purification involve? Basically, a Zen Buddhist priest comes in and performs some kind of ritual on the body. My mother lit the stone lantern in front of our house to let the priest know which one of it is when he arrives. It's some kind of tradition. Do you know what the ceremony involves? No, not really. Religious stuff was never a big interest of mine. Thank you for your time. Time? Time's just an illusion. Oh, and what that meant. Sure, no problem. Excuse me, young man. What do you want? Thank you for your time. I'm mean, just an illusion. All right. Let's save it as progress. Um, young sad boy. <clears throat> All right. Let's look at this temple here. A large golden frame sign hangs above the gate. You assume it must be the village name. Can we ask Alice some questions? Hey, Alice. Yeah? Tell me about yourself. So what have you been up to since London? Not a whole lot, really. I decided to take some time off from the school, which uh, didn't go over too well with my family. But I figure now that I have a real opportunity to do some field research, it's better than reading textbooks about this sort of thing. Yeah, I can relate. You should have heard my mom when I told her I was going to become a paranormal investigator. Tell me about Osaka. What do you think of the big city? I haven't gotten much of, uh, of the chance to look around, but it seems interesting. Hopefully we'll get a chance to explore in, in, in more detail once we've uh, solved this case. Oh yeah, definitely. Tell me about Asuka. This is a nice little village, isn't it? Yeah, it's very peaceful. I, I can see why some people would prefer to live here than a big city. It actually reminds me of a few places back here, back home in California. Uh, mysterious deaths, uh, ghost murders. Uh, what's your opinion of the ghost murders? I'm not really sure what to make of them right about yet. I haven't really read much about them. 
But from what you've told me about your investigation so far, I think that the police might really have some misinformation. Mysterious deaths. What was it that you read about these mysterious deaths here? Just that there have been several deaths occurring within days of each other under mysterious circumstances. I'm sure looking I'm sure looking around the village will help us get us more information. That's all for now. Okay. Can uh, would this help if I gave her a, a copy of the uh, fingerprints? I don't think I'll be okay. Let's move on. Let's go upstairs. Let's go through the entrance of the village gate. We're in the village. Save our progress. It's village. Asuka. Oh, what's this? Bush. Oh. Let's investigate the bush. Careful, might have thorns. No, nothing really important in the bushes. lamp. It's a large decorative stone lantern. Caref currently it's lit. Stone is cold to the touch. Gate and door. What's in it? is made of wood and paper. Let's investigate the door. <coughs> you knock on the door. Yes, may I help you with something? Uh, tell me about the village. What can you tell me about this village? It's not what it used to be. It seems that lately several misfortunes have fallen upon us. I do not believe in bad luck, but I am I'm beginning to wonder what we have done to deserve such cruel series of events. However, I have faith that things will be better, get better someday. Uh, tell me about the mysterious deaths. I heard there were a series of mysterious deaths in the village. Can you tell me anything about them? If you please, I'd rather not talk about it. Recently lost my husband and I'm grieving. Your husband? I'm very sorry to hear about your husband. Thank you, young lady. Your sympathy is appreciated. He was a good man. His death is made more difficult to deal with by the fact that he was a perfect health one day and then dead the next. That's the way it's been with all the deaths in the village. I do not understand what is going on. Soon we will be widows. Purification ritual. I've noticed your lan lantern is lit. Does this have anything to do with the purification ceremony? You surprise me, young lady. Not only do you speak perfect Japanese, but you're also familiar with our rural traditions. Well, thank you. Anyway, yes, I called a Zen Buddhist priest to come purify my husband's dead body. You may not believe this, but he somehow g escaped his grave last night. I want to be sure my husband spends his eternity resting and not suffering. Priest. Tell me about the Zen Buddhist priests. There are a branch of Buddhism experts that deal with death rites. The priest comes to the house and performs a purification ritual over the body. However, I do not know what was ha has happened to the priest I, I called. He is several hours late. Ask what the priest looks like. What does the priest look like? Maybe I can help you find him. <clears throat> I have not met him, and I assume he looks like any other Zen Buddhist priest. 
They all wear black robes and large, round, baboo hats. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for them. Thank you. I appreciate your help. That's all. Thank you for your speaking with me. Goodbye, young lady. Let's right, save our progress as a Ahsoka. Let's talk, let's ask some questions of Alice. Hey, Alice. Yeah? That's all for now. Okay. What's in this gate? A small gate leads to a tiny fenced off yard behind the house. You consider open the gate, but you see nothing of interest in the little garden. Well, you could limber the wall. It'd probably be easier just to walk out of the village gate. Let's move on. Okay, here's the graves. <coughs> hmm. It looks like someone has left a basket of flowers in the grave. Gravestone. Gravestone looks like it was just put here recently. It was cold to the touch. Any clues here? Single marble gravestone with some Japanese characters on it. Gravestone, gravestone, front of you can see several votes, which is the house. Gravestone, gravestone, gravestone. Dirt. The pressure dirt looks fresh as though it, the grave was recently dug or its occupant was somehow crawled out. You're not in much hand, mood to get your hands dirty. Can I grab, use any of that to grab the dirt? No. Dust for fingerprints. Let's see fingerprints here. Hey Alice. Yeah. That's all for now. Okay. You okay? You seem like something's wrong. I'm fine, just some cemeteries are a little creepy, that's all. Let's move on. Save as Asuka Cemetery. A large tree provides some shade to the area. He does not desire to climb a tree. Gravestone. Some Japanese characters on it. God, I got a guy here. What else is there? Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to go back to the cemetery. All right. Looks like someone left a basket of flowers in the grave. Let's grab the flowers. Okay, we need to do this for the greater good. Ben, what are you doing? I might need this. You can't just take that. Someone left it for the person in the grave. But according to what we've heard, there isn't anyone in this grave anymore. 
I don't know about this. All right, making progress. Okay, let's uh, grab this flower basket. You decided to take the flowers out of the basket. All right. Feels like wood, like bamboo. All right, let's put on uh, the ro black robe. Okay. Let's use the combination of the basket and the robe. Remember the Grieving Widow's description, you decide to create a makeshift priest costume. Boom. Let's put on the priest costume. Dressing up as a priest here wouldn't accomplish much. All right. Let's put on the priest costume. You quickly put on your priest disguise. Here we go. Yes. Oh, you found the priest. Please come inside. Wow. Thank you so much for finding the priest. I have been waiting several hours and was beginning to think he had he had forgotten. Now I know he must begin the ritual. So please join me in my sitting room for some tea. Thank you very much, ma'am. You're very kind. Okay. The wall has several designs on it. As for the me more meaning, you have no clue. All right. Okay, so we need to open the left door. There's the body in a protective circle. Coffer. A simple wooden coffin, currently unoccupied. A candle burns brightly and casts an eerie glue glow throughout the room. All right, let's let's do this. Get the this evidence here. Take the syringe into the body. Since you see no physical evidence related to the cause of death in the body, you decided to take a blood sample. Wow. Your syringe is currently filled with some, full of some blood. You don't want to contaminate the sample. Asuka. Leave the candles alone. You don't want to burn yourself. Nothing else here. You better not mess around with the body unless you really have to. Ah, there he is. Have you finished the purification ritual? Why does he not speak? Uh, he's taken a vow of silence, but I'm sure he's performed the rite. I see. Well, I thank you for your help, Miss Wilkins. Not a problem. Goodbye. Dun dun. We did it. Well, that was an interesting plan. Did you find anything out? No, not really. But I did. I took a blood sample from the husband's body. I'm hoping that there might be something in his blood that will give us some leads. Good work. From taking talking to the widow, I found out that her husband pretty much died without warning. That he was apparently an avid collector of rare swords. Ah, interesting. We have had to come back and talk to her more in depth. For for now, I think we should head back to Osaka before it gets gets any later. All right, let's go. 
<coughs> we did we get we did good we done good guys we done good where are we now is this in our dream Mary I was starting to wonder when you were going to show up Mary what are you doing out of your grave I was too uncomfortable in there I need this change of scenery you know, you still look amazing for being dead, that is. Save the flattery, Ben. It's too late for that now. I miss you, Mary. Not a day goes by that I'm not reminded of you somehow. Yes, I know. I wish things would happen different too, but life isn't always convenient like that, isn't it? Just hard, you know. Hard? Don't talk to me about what is even hard, Ben. I'm dead. Every day is difficult. Did you really think I was going to be a walk of the park when you decided to go to on your little ghost hunts? To be honest, I don't know. I guess I just wanted an excuse to travel and maybe some interesting experiences along the way. Well, you had better think long and hard about whether you want to stay on this career path. Ben, believe me when I tell you that things are not going to get any easier. But I've made some good friends. Simon and Alice are willing to help me out. Oh, Ben, you have so much to learn. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not the one who, who can tell you. Anyway, you should probably be waking up soon. Don't you have some ghosts to catch? Day 3 Good morning, Simon. Has Alice come up by yet? Hi, Ben. Yeah, she came by the room early this morning and told me that she was going back to Osaka. She said she wanted to interview some of the locals and see if she could learn anything new. Oh, I see. Listen, Ben, is everything okay? I noticed you were sleeping kind of fitfully last night. <clears throat> I was? Oh, yeah, that was nothing. Hmm. Well, you know, it's the... If there's anything you need to talk about. Alright, he's on the computer now. Save our progress is day three. A3 Hotel. 45 out of 108. Games length, thank you for watching me play Ben Jordan Land of the Rising Dead by Francisco Gonzalez. I hope you enjoyed our little walkthrough in Osaka. We will continue our adventure another day. In the meantime, thanks for liking this video, adding your favorites, leave comments below, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Plus, all the social media websites I use on a daily basis. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Always Says Play Theater. You get notified of the latest videos that I'll be doing. Also, um, if you want a shout out, I will read your comments out for free. Leave some comments below my videos. Also, uh, quick questions and answers. Uh, I'll answer your questions as long as they're interesting and well thought out. Uh, please leave your questions below. I'll answer them and I'll shout out your channel. Uh, check out my Facebook and Twitter that I'm working on right below the video description. Check out my other links below. My Feature Points app. Make sure to get that app if you haven't already. Uh, check out my Patreon is, uh, is under construction, so work. stay tuned for that. Um, VideoGamersOasis.com website is also under construction and making progress. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you again with more Ben Jordan Case Number 5, Land of the Rising Dead. Till next time, gamers. Bye. <laughs>